real-time Jerome happening right now before the vlog, but before the vlog starts, I thought I would ask you guys if you are interested in seeing or I guess participating, viewing a live stream on YouTube where kind of just like a hangout happy hour with Jerome. I feel like we're all under some sort of lockdown quarantine right now during this crazy time. But let me know down below. I think that would be kind of fun to do some sort of live stream and interact with everybody. And yeah, um, now cue the music and then you'll see me with shorter hair. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another vlog. It is gonna be another move into the new space vlog. Um, today's vlog is gonna be a little bit of a bigger one because we're building all of this furniture to build a PAX wardrobe system on my the far wall down here um there it's actually a big considerable amount of space next to the bed area um i do have a lot of clothes and i ended up going to ikea within the past like month kind of designing how i want this to look like and essentially i want there to be um a way to store my shirts my pants a lot of my shoes and then I have a few drawers and then a little cubbies that I can put in um, all my bags and all that stuff so gonna be building that today it might take one day it might take two weeks but I'm really hoping it's less the less time that it took to make the bed as you guys know this if you guys saw the, the vlog before this it was when I was kind of first moving into this space and getting things together it took me a long time to build this bed but I have my mom here we're gonna try and build this fingers crossed one thing is that because they are so tall, it's like 92, 93 inches tall, we need to mount it to the wall so that during like earthquakes or something crazy might happen where it might fall down. So we need to secure it. So fingers crossed that we can figure that out too. If you're new to my channel, uh, hi, my name is Jerome, travel vlogger, but I'm not traveling right now because coronavirus. But um, thumbs up this video and subscribe to see more vlogs. So the frame is super big, <laughs> 92 inches in length. So I'm ending up having to tear out the packaging because there's not much room to just slide it out. Okay, some progress. <laughs> we got the side panels taken out, put in some of the screws, and actually this has been quite a very helpful thing. It's it's very ratchet. Get it? Okay, we made some progress. Got part of the frame. Took maybe an hour, but that's pretty quick. Look who's here. Hi. We have the first actual uh, wardrobe system. I'm excited to show you guys what it looks like, uh, but we have another one that we're going to be putting right next to it, but problem. There is a outlet here, and since we'll be mounting it to the wall, we have to get a extension cord, so when I put my desk right over here, it should fit. So we have the second frame over here. Nothing has been bolted to the wall. The idea is that I am gonna put, be putting a desk right over here. It looks really narrow, but in real life, it looks a little bit wider. Excited for this whole thing to come along, and yeah. Hey guys, new day. I think today, what I'm gonna do, I already went to work, and when I went, when I say I went to work, I went and did work from home. But I am gonna be doing all of these and building them onto the wall. I still have to mount it onto the wall, or the actual frame to the wall, but I think I might do that last. I have a few shelves, a few drawers, a few slide out things, and yeah, I'm excited to show you guys what we do. Okay, I got my laundry hamper here. Really excited about it. And it f closes really softly. Now, a few drawers. Got the three drawers and then one shelf here. I love it so far. And look, it kind of um, closes slowly for all three. And then the plan is I'm gonna be putting another two shelves so that there are three kind of cubbies here. I might put my Saint Laurent sac de jours right over here just for display, but looking good so far. Gonna call it the end of the day. I know. I'm taking my time. Okay, so a new day. Ooh, let's let's focus this camera. The coronavirus is really, really, the problem is heavy right now here in the Seattle area. We are the worst affected place 
here in this country and after hearing from a lot of different people um, I'm gonna try and spend a lot of my days inside which is great for you guys because then I can finish doing all of the kind of getting my room set and together I'm going to be working on the second frame right over here. This is the larger frame, the 39 inch wide or 100 centimeter wide um, frame. It's going to have a couple of pull out platforms for shoes. There's going to be two rows in each platform and I have two platforms. And then I'm going to be putting two uh, curtain, not curtain rods, like rods to hang things on and then a shelf up top. So I don't know how long that's going to take, but that's the plan. But yeah, this I I, I, re I literally cannot wait until this virus kind of ends, and I'm hoping that you know it was a bit of a eye-opening experience, like hearing all the things in the news. I don't know how you guys are faring, but hopefully all of you guys are safe. And yeah, let's do this. Hey guys, the very little clothes that I have right behind me um, is already on my Pax wardrobe. I finally finished building it. It took a little bit of time throughout the course of like days, but I wanted to show you what I did. So you guys already saw the left side, but the right side definitely has the shoe rack that slides out and it has like the soft clothes. Um, I have two rows of that and then each row has um, two rows. So I'm hoping to put at least four, maybe five on each row, and then 10 on each panel, 20 total. And then if I have more shoes, I'll probably put it um, in a little rack over there. And then I have two clothes racks. Is that the right way? Like, um, can hang some of my pants on the bottom row. And then, my tops on the top row and then I have kind of like the same cubby shelf height as I do on the left side um, on the right I don't know exactly what I'm gonna put over there probably storage but I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work because the l height I, I put the rod on the top most slot and literally I don't know it's going to definitely hit but I don't know if I think that's okay I think that's fine, but I'm also uh, looking to getting a, you know, those velvet hangers from probably Home Goods or TJ Maxx, and I think they should, like the way that they're structured, lift them up a little bit, and they're a lot thinner, so hopefully that works out. I still have to bring all the rest of my clothes to, uh, from my old place over here, so this still needs to get populated, and then the next things I need to do is to get those little screw fasteners, like the his and hers, that connects these two poor um, wardrobe sets together. I might do one like towards the top and then one maybe towards the bottom and then mount it on the wall. So yeah, you, the next time you'll see this, I'm probably going to bring my clothes in and the rest of my shoes. This is so weird. Ooh, I feel like there's still so much to be done. Um, and then I also got my desk that will be coming in a few days. Hey guys, so new day. I feel like I've started all days as new day, but um, got two of three of my packages for my desk, which I'm gonna be placing right over here. Also, it's like kind of like a semi-quarantine, like a semi-self-quarantine, but we are told that we're supposed to be like quarantining for at least two weeks, so we ended up going and panic buying all of these things. So, um, got a lot of. This is not panic buying. This is like regular. This is regular because we literally have nothing. We just moved in, so of course. I um, also got this little board thing, which I don't know. Like it's one of those little balancing boards. That you like put right over here. And you just balance. And yep, I'm wearing ballet socks. So. Yeah. 
Okay, another day. <laughs> um, got word that the tabletop for my desk is coming today. So I'm gonna go ahead, even though like, I'm in the middle of my work day, uh, I have a whole bunch of meetings and I have some time in between meetings to start building the frame so that I'm ready for when the actual um, tabletop arrives. So really excited to get this underway. Okay, so I've reached a stopping point because I realized with the directions, I do actually need the tabletop in order to move forward. Um, by the way, the there are a lot of like um, automated standing and sitting desks in the market, but the one that I ended up getting is called Uplift, and I got it because doing the floor plan of my room, I really only had this much space, so about like 40... 8, 50 inches of width and all I'm really putting on my desk is my iMac so that I can connect it to my work laptop whenever I need to work or if I needed to um, edit a YouTube video. And um, I've seen so many different brands like uh, Autonomous is one of them but Uplift actually had the tabletop that uh, size that I needed um, which is 42 inches wide. So um, yeah. Gonna wait on that. I have to say though that the directions that I've been using for this desk has actually been pretty nice. All of the parts are labeled clearly and after building the PAX wardrobe frame, I've kind of been breezing along with this. So hopefully the it's supposed to come in by end of day today, but it's coming from a shipping center in Auburn, Washington, which is actually pretty close to where I live. And yeah, fingers crossed. Okay, I was in a meeting earlier and I hear the doorbell and the tabletop is in. Okay, I can resume. You guys. It's finally built! Let me show you guys, I just have a random chair there, but essentially, I have my laptop right over here, and it's at a normal height right now, but if I wanted to make it taller so I can stand, it stands. And it's automated, which is nice. Um, I tend to feel like, you know, ergonomically, it's nice so that you can just stand here and just start working. It's a little too tall. Let's bring it down a little bit. But look. Or if I feel like I want to go sit down, just bring over the chair and just let this come down. I still have to bring over my iMac so that I have my big um, monitor. Yeah, this is this is looking really good. I'm really excited. On um, the next time you probably see this, I. I'm trying to figure out when I'm going to be going to my parents' house. I'm trying to stay away from them as much as I can because they are technically high risk uh, because they are 60 plus. Um, so who knows when I'll go and grab it, but um, quarantine life, man. <sighs> Good morning. Um, woke up. It is about, it's like midday right now and did a whole bunch of nothing. It is Sunday. Yes, Sunday. Um, being in quarantine, you kind of lose the days of the weeks. I've been in this home. This is the seventh straight day without leaving the house. Uh, Washington State has not issued a shelter in place. People are still out and about, but they're strongly encouraging those who are out and about to do social distancing, so six feet apart from one another. Um, I've seen some <laughs> online where people were just going on hikes, and then at the very top of the hike, people are just like hanging out at the top eating lunch, and it, it definitely is not a six foot social distancing thing. People are just hanging out the beach in Washington. I'm like, what the f are you guys doing? Don't be so irresponsible. 
So, um, yeah. This will be my first day out in almost eight days. We are only going out for essentials, which is groceries, because um, as you guys know, we moved in here and we're still trying to like, we're realizing that there are a lot of things in the house that we don't have uh, that we need to get. So we're going out. I have a list of things that we need to get. I was reading online that some people are, so it is advised for things like this to have two weeks worth of water. Um, we have sparkling water in the fridge and have some water, I mean like the water here in the tap is really, it's, it's good in Washington's day, but you know, for whatever reason, if something happens to the plumbing, uh, we, we need to be prepared. See you guys while we're out. This is gonna be weird. I haven't been out in over a week. Okay, so here with them. We're heading into Fred Meyer right now. <laughs> You're them! <laughs> okay, we're gonna go inside and, and uh, get our groceries. Really happy that they have Purell wipes for the cart. Wipe it down. Y'all, my favorite cheese is on sale. It's $2.49 instead of $4.99. Ooh, I wonder what the expiration date though. It's not so busy here at the grocery store, so I'm trying to maintain the six foot thing, but let me show you the cart. This is what, well it's not hoarders if it's the three of us. These are two different transactions, so this is what we got. 